Hey guys, so I know I've been gone for quite a while, but I do have some good updates to share, so stick around to the end of the video if you want to hear that. But for those just looking for the review, welcome to 500 Words or Less, a new series I'm starting for games that I either missed covering earlier, or that I just don't want to make a full review out of. The premise is simple, I give you my quick thoughts on the game, spoiler free, in 500 Words or Less. So without further ado, let's get into it. The Cycle is a free-to-play PvPVE game that kind of reminds me of a mix between Destiny and Hunt Showdown. Destiny in terms of the style and the combat, and Hunt Showdown in terms of structure. Basically, in The Cycle, you're dropped into a PvE overworld, and you have to compete with other players, doing a series of different contracts in order to get points. By the end of the game, the person or team with the most points wins. It's a decent idea, and there are flashes of some really cool stuff in here, but I think it gets way too oversimplified for its own good. PvP is a bit weak, and you get very few points for killing players, which then puts the emphasis on the contract missions, but unfortunately most of the contracts are also too simple, and end up revolving around you walking up, pressing E, and then fighting off the same three enemies over and over. The gunplay is pretty solid, however, but I think it just needs more enemies and some actual incentive to do PvP. The game does show some potential for improvement though, with a few contracts that I think are solid ideas, like the Zeal Shard, which gains points the longer you carry it, but it highlights you on the map and will be dropped if you take too much damage. I think this type of approach is what the game needs to go forward with, because in my opinion, this is what makes these types of games interesting, having some sort of risk-reward system that really punishes the player for failing, but offers great rewards in return for success. The cycle just doesn't have any of that right now, which I think is the biggest overall problem with the game. Because while you are technically competing with other players, you can never actually lose. Unlike in Hunt Showdown, where you lose your hunter and gear if you die, in the cycle, you gain resources and XP regardless of how you do. So even if you lose the match, you still progress forward. This really lowers the stakes and kind of makes it just less interesting to go back out there. Couple that with the fact that half of the progression and character abilities just kind of suck, and you've got a game that desperately needs something else to incentivize you to keep playing. I mean, look. The jetpack ability was just far and away better than those other two, so it's not like anyone used any sort of different playstyles. In a game without a mantle feature, having the option for a less mobile character is just stupid. Now hurry up before things get bad. Oh my god, I couldn't even make that. He... Yep. Overall, I think the game has a decent premise, solid gunplay, and might be worth checking out for a few hours since it's free but it really needs some serious overhauls to its design because right now it's lacking in contract variety, enemy variety, and a good progression system. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I know I've been away for almost two months now, which I apologize for, but I've been very hard at work on my own game, which is still coming out this summer and I will have an update video and new trailer and all that good stuff in the very near future, hopefully next week if we can hear back from our graphic designer in time. Um, I also just graduated college, so I had to go through you know, getting done finals and just all that college stuff in general, and I've been playing some games that I hope to cover in more 500 words videos. I also plan to review The Last of Us Part 2 when that drops later this week, so stay tuned. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.